Yeah, it felt good. I think it's uh, important for us to to get 90 minutes for some of us under our belts to to get back to winning ways. So now we're on a winning streak. We kept the shutout streak alive, and obviously we've moved on in the Open Cup. So a lot of goals were reached in that game, and now it's uh, it's all about getting on the field against Seattle, being ready for a, a good team. How do you guys feel physically after a little, little bit of a layoff? But you guys got to you know recharge the batteries and then get 90 minutes on the even before getting back to the MLS play. Yeah, physically, I think it's been pretty nice to have a little bit of a break. We had weekends off. Uh, guys got to get away, not only physically, but mentally as well. It was good for everybody. Um, and now, yeah, physically, I feel pretty good. You know, coming off a 90-minute, pretty difficult game in Rochester on the turf is not always easy for some of us. But uh, a light training today, another light one tomorrow, and I think we'll be ready physically for Sunday. While you were out here practicing, the team announced that Jesse has a contract extension. Just your thoughts as someone who was brought in by Jesse and kind of the embodiment of, of the new regime here, just the coach getting the extension? Well, you know, a lot of guys got new contracts at the end of a very successful season, and now uh, it's nice to see that Jesse got a new contract as well. I think it's deserved. He was the coach of the year. And obviously for continuity, to have him and Ali around is important for us as we continue to move forward as a club. Uh, Jesse and Ali didn't didn't plan a, a one-year thing for, for bringing me in, and I'm sure for themselves as well. It was always a five-year plan with, with maybe even a 10-year plan, and, and it's about building something for this club. So I'm happy for him. He deserves it. On a club level and the national level, you've had a lot of different coaches. What does Jesse do that's unique? Uh, he's a very good communicator. I think he, he has g good relationships with most of the guys on the team, and, and he, he, his door is always open. He can always speak to guys. I think most guys know where they stand you know, in the pecking order of things he, here at the club. Um, it's not always easy to keep everybody happy, but I think he does a pretty good job of communicating. On the field and under his teams, you just seem to be flourishing, particularly this year. What is, the team, what is it about just picking up over this course of this year that's made you feel that you've been able to perform at a higher level? Me personally? You personally, how you're fitting in and how you seem to be understanding what he wants from you? Yeah, I think, um, you know, from, from pretty much the midway point of last season, I don't think much has changed in the way I'm playing. I think it, um, I've become more comfortable around my teammates. Uh, I know what Jesse wants out of me, and I'm, I think everyone has a pretty clear idea of what we want to make and what we want to do out of this thing. So. Uh, the longer we play together, the better the relationships on the field get. So now you can see after a year and a half that Bradley and I have a very good relationship. And I think that has uh, shown to, to prove it in ending up in a lot of goals, uh, goals and assists. And, and we were the highest scoring team in the league last year. I don't think that happened by mistake. I think we've worked on it a lot on the training ground and, and the way we play, the way we attack, it all comes together. So uh, it's been a pretty easy transition to, to play for Jesse because he's very clear. And like I said earlier, he's a good communicator. So he, he, he lets us know what we, what, what we need to do. And I think we've been very responsive to him. How have those relationships helped to help the team just get through that rough patch to begin the year and respond to this last stretch? Yeah, well, we, we felt at the beginning of the year that this was just going to be a continuation of last season and we could fall back on those relationships. Unfortunately for us, the, the goals just weren't going in. But I think the confidence was always there that once the first goal really came, that more were going to come. And so now you see Bradley is getting up there towards the top of the Golden Boot standings where we always expected him to be. And I think just just having that relationship and that comfortableness between myself and Lloyd and, and Grella, and then now we have uh, Verone coming in off the bench and things like that, it's just going to keep getting better. And for the second half of the year, and for the second half of the year, just to continue off of that and without taking things for granted, in a way, how do you how do you keep it keep it going? As well, we're still not in first place, and so that's obviously the goal. So I don't think we're taking anything for granted. We we had a bad start to this season. We know that, but we've put it past us. We've gotten past it. We. We're moving on, and so now we've got you know shutouts four in a row. We're moving on in the Open Cup, but we're still not where we want to be as far as standings-wise and as far, as far as where we are as a club. So we're going to keep going. Were you able to catch the U.S. Copa game last night? Or you, just what were your thoughts going through the game? I thought they played a pretty good game. I think the U.S. has uh, found a lot of confidence, and I think the most important thing they've found now is consistency. So. Um, you know, even after a difficult start against a very good team in Colombia, they've responded very well. They've stuck together. They've shown that real American fighting spirit that I think the team has always had in them. So pretty, pretty good performances the last 10 days or so.